Hi Scorpio, how are you? I hope you are doing well and this is your reading for the 24th to the 1st of uh, 24th of February to the 1st of March. Um, welcome to the channel if you're new and um, if you would like to subscribe then please click the button just beneath and click the bell then you'll be notified when I go live and um, welcome to my cyber angels thank you for coming back and um, supporting the channel awesome you make it what it is and I'm really grateful we work well together especially in the live sessions Great, great, great. I love it how all my cyber angels are so beautiful and peaceful, respectful and helpful towards each other. Thank you. You make it such beautiful sessions. I hope to see you tonight there as well. And for the new uh, people or viewers, if you do join, uh, come to the live sessions, then you'll be a cyber angel too. Um, then you will get your wings. That's official. And then you are one of my beautiful cyber angels. So come in and experience and join in. Get your free cards. There's also Super Chat available and Super Stickers. If you would like to have an extensive reading, then just go around here. There's a little white circle. Then click on that and that will take you to the website. And there you can see different uh, readings on offer. You can also see the latest uploads. This weekend there will be new information on the website and the more, it, there's more information just below the video in the description box. So I hope to see you in the life. So let's get started read, with your reading Scorpio. Scorpio, you have the Ace of Cups. That means celebrations. Oh, new beginnings definitely, in love, in passion, in a job perhaps, perhaps a job in care, as the cups stand for love, passion, care, nurturing, sexuality and sensuality. Okay, and we've got the four of ones underneath, so there will be celebrations, perhaps a wedding, your wedding, or uh, you might get an invitation to a wedding. You will be meeting people here. And those people could become good friends, as the Four of Wands also represents uh, proper foundations for a house. Perhaps you're moving a house or bought a house or renting a new house. Um, it's proper foundations, so this will a relationship or house or celebration, um, wedding will last for a long term. This is built on proper foundations, so go for it. For the midweek, we have the Six of Cups. What are your dreams? Um, are you dreaming about the past, Scorpio? Are you remembering memories from your childhood? That could be it, or there could be somebody coming back from the past and you might be getting news from somebody from the past but if somebody's coming back from the past they will also be bringing you a gift you might be hearing from somebody from your past and this could be a Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus as you have the Knight of Pentacles this could also be news about a job. This could also be a news about a house as you've got the four of staves here and you might have put a, bi a bid in on a house and that your bid is accepted. And that is a new beginning, something that you're passionate about, something that you would have loved, a house or a home for yourself. And if you are married or going to get married for your future family. On Friday we have the Fool and the Fool means a new beginning. So you don't, might not have all the information but 
you have to be careful. Try to get as much information as possible, because usually this is depicted a man standing by the cliffside. And here he is, uh, or she is, um, coming off the ladder or the step. And it's a lot like the, re uh, the staircase is going up and up and up, but you must be aware of dangers, okay? Otherwise you will fall off that ladder or in the traditional deck of that cliff. Try to be cautious. It's good to have a new beginning, but try to get as much information as possible. you might be meeting somebody new. So if you do meet somebody new, this could be a Gemini, and this could be your soulmate, as the, the lovers stand for soulmate. If you do meet somebody new, then take that leap of faith and start the friendship, either or passion or love relationship. But take it easy, step by step if you want to build it to last so that this can become your wedding wow at the weekend you have the six of pentacles this is um, a card in uh, basically it means that um, the if you are fortunate you will be giving to the less fortunate. If you are less fortunate, then you'll be getting something from the fortunate. This could be a gift of money. This could be a helping hand. This could be a listening ear. So you know what this card uh, re uh, resonates with. Are you the fortunate or the less fortunate? I think you might also be stuck with your uh, memories in the past, not because of the Five of Cups, um, but of the Six of Cups. Look at this. You've come from the Six of Cups to the Five of Cups. You can't cry over spilled milk. What has been, has been. Accept, way, accept life the way it is. Pick that cup up. Okay? Pick that cup up. It's okay to remember uh, what happened in the past. You can't go in back to the past. If somebody does come back from the past, it will be different anyway. Okay? It will be different. Um, I don't, I'm not saying it won't be as nice as it was, but it will be different. You can change the present and you can change the future. So, if you do take somebody back from the past, then you know what their way is and what they want and what their habits are. That can be a pro, but it can also be a con, because you might start uh, irritating about their habits and their way. But on the other hand, they are known, so they, it feels safe. So, it takes hard work if you do take somebody back from the past, but it could be even better than before, as you have also learned from the past, hopefully. You've got the Nine of Cups, so your wish is coming true. Your goal is coming true. There's an ending to something and a new beginning. Perhaps there is a finish like I said, and you're taking a new leap of faith with somebody new, your soulmate. And you've got the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles, a new lover, a new partner, a long-term partner that you will marry. Um, um, because Pentacles stands for fertility, birth, birth of a child, birth of a project growth, uh, blossoming and harvesting. Remember that I said harvesting. You might have harvested now because you've learned from the past. You are harvesting um, knowledge of the past and what you've learned in the past. 
So if you do take somebody back, you do harvest because you've got life experience and you've gained wisdom. And you know what you do want and what you don't want. So it's easier to make that decision whether to take somebody back or not. And I know people that have taken back their ex partner and they are happily married. Now, for the answer of the angels, uh, you have get more information. Yes, it is necessary to make sure that you are making the right decision. You can take the leap of faith, but it's great if you can get more information. The situation you are asking about requires more information in order for you to make a wise decision. Approach those knowledgeable about the topic to solicit their advice. If there are friends or family members in your midst who have insight into the matter, ask for their observations. You may need to do some analytical research in order to get data you need. This could be including reading books, taking classes or seminars, seminars or gathering information from the internet. What do you have to surrender? Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Everything is possible. Just ask the angels and the divine. They will do the rest of the work. If it's meant to be that you are together, then they will bring you together. That is a beautiful message. I hope you have found this reading interesting and I hope it resonates with you. And if not, at least you know uh, the energy around you. I, I know it is difficult to make a decision, Scorpio. Good luck and I wish you a lot of strength. Remember, love and patience heals everything. That will bring you back into your strength. That's the strength card in the tarot. Thank you for watching. Please share and like. And thank you for doing that. I greatly appreciate it. Take care and be blessed.